River. So let's start with Chris. So are we going to see flood and storm threats as a result, Chris? This is something that we're going to be monitoring. The flood risk is actually higher than the severe storm risk as we're going to see uh, this heavy rain that's moving into the city right now. But as you can see, uh, the past couple of hours we have stayed dry here in Atlanta, but now the rain is pushing in from the west. It is starting off on the lighter end with this green color that you see here, but then just to the west of us, the yellows and oranges that you see in northwest Georgia. Also here on the west side, that's where we have more of that moderate rain, and that's going to keep pushing our way, and we're just going to see conditions deteriorating as we go through the rest of the evening hours. And then south and west of the city, as you see down here closer to LaGrange, also over parts of Meriwether County, we've been watching a little bit of thunder and lightning with these. They're not classified as severe, but don't be surprised on the south side if you see some lightning or hear some rumbles of thunder. All of this moisture is going to keep pushing into our direction. It is just now beginning to move in over Truist Park. This is our live view right there at 75 and 285 looking over the park where of course you see the clouds and now the rain is beginning to come down north and west of the city. As we go through the rest of the evening hours tonight, this is going to be the time frame when that rain's going to get more active and turn more widespread during the evening hours tonight as well as overnight and then early in the morning, a good coverage of showers still sticking with us as well. Uh, let me take you live right now and you can see up in northwest Georgia what we are watching here. This is up in parts of Bartow County and into areas moving into northern Cobb County where that rain is coming down. The roads are wet. Hopefully folks will continue to slow down into that. Now we also have a flood watch that's in effect. That's going to be the main risk we're watching as the system moves through. We're going to break down more on the timing and more on the uh, rainfall amounts and the axis of that heavier rain where that's going to be.